All right here we're going to look at uh, a little question related to radioactive decay. So suppose a radioactive material is known to decay at a yearly rate of 0 0.2 times the amount at each moment. And suppose, uh, so in part A, there are 1,000 grams of the material right now. We want to know what's the amount after 10 years. So again, when things change at a rate proportional to the amount, uh, that tells us that the, uh, the original, of the amount at uh, some time t equals a, this is going to represent the initial amount, times e to the k t. So in part a here, we're given that the initial amount is 1,000. It's uh, decaying at a rate of 0 0.2. Uh, K represents the decay rate, or the uh, growth rate, we'll even call it that. Sometimes called a growth rate, sometimes also called a decay rate. The main thing is, since it's decaying, uh, we'll use negative 0.2 times T, and uh, that's, that's going to describe the amount at any time T. So in part A, we want to know how much of the material is there after 10 years. Well, all we have to do is just plug 10 into this. So we have 1,000 times e to the negative 0 0.2 times 10. So that's going to give us 1,000 times e to the negative, uh, I guess, just negative 2. And now we can evaluate that. So let's see. I'm getting e to the negative 2 to be roughly 0.135. So if we multiply that by 1,000, we'll have, well, 135. So it says the amount uh, left after 10 years will be roughly 135. I don't know if we had grams at the beginning. Yes, it will be roughly 135 grams of this material left over.